And today, oh, today, we are starting Dragon Quest XI S, the uh, definitive version of Dragon Quest XI. And I've been wanting to play this game forever, but I have been dreading it because I know most Dragon Quest games are forever long. But... <clears throat> We're going to get on with it. I wanted to finish a couple of other games that I was working on on stream before I started this, and I finally got them done. They were Zelda and Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC. So, uh, yeah, let's uh, let's start a game. This and Apex is probably the only games I'm going to be playing for a while, unless we throw some, like, VR chat or Gary's mod. God, that's loud. <laughs> Uh, ears. Uh, what is up, King Panda? Thank you for stopping by. And uh, uh, re to you too, my friend. But, uh... God, was that Krillin? <laughs> uh, by the way, if you are uh, familiar with the Dragon Ball series, Akira Toriyama does all the artwork for Dragon Quest. So, uh, that's why the main character here looks like fucking Trunks. So, uh... We could skip this and get into the game. Funny thing about Dragon Quest XI is that I have supported the game since it first came out. I bought the original Dragon Quest XI on the PS4. Never fucking played it like, uh, you know, the rest of the games in my backlog. Then they announced Dragon Quest XI Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition S. For the Switch. And they ported that version over to the PlayStation, which now I am playing it on the PS5. Chunks, if he wasn't a rebel, dying his hair blue. Exactly. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this. Um, me with Dragon Quest, though. This is legitimately the third game in the series that I've played. And raw to you too, baby. And out of the three games, out of the three games, one was only a numbered Dragon Quest game, which was Dragon Quest Eight back on the PlayStation 2. And recently, I got into Dragon Quest Builders 2. So this is legitimately the second number Dragon Quest game that I will be playing. And uh, let's get into it, I guess. Create a new adventure log. Let's plot what I would like, huh? Uh, uh, we'll go with, uh, 
a tried and true J. Uh, yeah. What is this? Oh, I could set up different runs with this bullshit. No. No. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. We're going to go ahead uh, and do this. Which mode? What the fuck is a mode? 3D or 2? Oh. Oh. Um. This plays to me so much. It, it, uh. It speaks to my fucking old school gamer. I did not know you that you could play this entire game in 2D mode. That is fucking cool. But for the sake of having things look pretty, I'm gonna go with 3D mode. Wow, that that is actually kind of fucking cool. Gives me a reason to play it again if I ever want to spend another fucking thousand hours in it, but hey. Why not begin by adjusting various system settings to your likings? Okay. Which language would you like to care? English, because, you know, English. Uh, confirm. I think it's bright enough. <laughs> Don't mind me, people. I live in Texas. It's fucking hot here. On top of that, if the PlayStation 5 does anything fucking good, the one thing that is, th it's the best at, okay? And I have it just here, inches away from me. The best thing the fucking PlayStation 5 does 100% is fucking be a space heater. So all of you who own a PS5, if you ever have one of those cold, lonely nights in the winters, play a fucking game with this thing cuddled up to you. It'll give you third degree burns, but it'll keep you fucking warm. Yeah. Blur. Hey, look, red stuff. Oh, God. Okay, it's a, it's a ghost. Fucking space heater. Five, Jesus. I love the system, don't get me wrong. I live in Texas. I'm always moist. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry for ranting a little bit there, but I, I just need to let y'all know that if you need a fucking space heater, PlayStation 5 will do it. And you can play games at the same fucking time. Oh, it's rainy. Look at fucking rain here. Oh. What is it? What, what is, what is going on here? This Ooh, like child, he is the one. There's the mark. Fuck, it looks like Grandpa Gohan. There's no mistaking it. Look, it's fucking Krillin! <laughs> or little baby trunks. You gotta give it to Square Enix. They can make a game look gorgeous. Oh, that's probably not good. Oh, oh shit. There's another blamely. Where are your fucking heads? <sighs> they, they look cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, 
Oh damn! You don't get to play me! That's not good. So pretty. I got a little frog. Oh my god. Baby trunk's just floating. Oh no. Oh, find the baby grandpa Gohan! Oh my. What in heavens are you doing here? You fucking float! After that awful storm, too. However, did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. There's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Uh, that, that's because Akira Toriyama is the same guy who created Dragon Ball, so... You're gonna see characters that look very similar to them in Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Super, all that. <coughs> He's been working on Dragon Quest since it's exception, like, inception. And this should be the main ca- yep, there's trunks, more or less. Not just the drawing. Uh, I will say there's some power-ups in, um, uh, in Dragon Quest Eight. Thanks there was so a power up that kind of looked saver. like the Super Saiyan, but um, as far as like Kamiyamiha and stuff like that, there's no real just big the things. There's magic and stuff. Lost kid, an old man who finds and raises them. Yeah. <sighs> so it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Oh yeah, they're 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 a warrior. Helps others. Yeah. It it's old uh, RPG tropes, baby. They've been going since before Dragon Ball, but I get <laughs> what you're saying. Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on. Best not keep her waiting. Yeah, Trunks. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z rewrite. But I mean, definitely, definitely Dragon Ball. Even though she kind of looks like the, um, the mechanic from um, Full Metal Alchemist. But, uh, yeah. Definitely Dragon Ball. You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off at the top of the steps, don't you? I'll keep them waiting, dear. XD, yes. <laughs> oh, and remember, if you are ever in need of some advice or you're stuck for what to do, have a chat with the folks with pretty pink speech bubbles above their heads like me. Just press square and look at the map. You can't miss us. While you're looking at the map, use R to change the direction you're facing. It's a handy little trick, trust me. Really? Oh, okay. Yo, more maps need to do this shit. Just look at you, Jay, my little boy, all grown up. Now be sure to look after Gamma, you hear? To think you've been inseparable since you were tiny. And here you are, about to climb the tour together. Oh, and if you... And if ever you lose your way, just follow Sandy. That dog's got more sense than any of us. Off well, you go now, dear. I know the two of you will be just fine. And I'll make sure there's delicious supper waiting for you when you get back. Jay, seeing you and my dear Gamma all set for your big day makes me proud as anything, both as a mayor and as a grandfather. 
you're not kids anymore, you know. No, you're grown up now. And that means going to the tour and offering your thanks. Now it's time you were on your way, head up to the top, give praise to the spirit of the land, and then come back down and tell us how you like the view. Oh, and if you're ever unsure what to do next, try pressing triangle and selecting party talk. Gamma might have some useful tips for you. Really? It's our big day day, we're finally going. Brilliant! Look at Sandy, it's so excited. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's go, Sandy. You only got a pink bubble, so you're useless. So are you. Puffy, where are you going? Through the case. Humble folk of cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? I fucking love their accents. My I, granddad's I love been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the love land em. really does live on cobblestone tour, you love see. Love it! As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I do believe uh, Dragon Quest VIII was similar with their voice actors. Very British. Like, over the top. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Don't do well, yourself a mischief. Worry. Since you and me were born on the same day, I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then. That craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh. Well, what do you see, puppy? Oh. Slimes! Yes! Fucking love these little things. Ah, monsters! They're coming this way! So, let's kick their ass! A group of slimes draws near. Watch out! Uh, slime it. Oh! I can move around. Okay. Oh! Oh, fuck you! Go on! You can do it! Get him! Come on, dog! Bite his ass! Fight, fight, and fight some more! What do you think I'm doing, bitch? Why don't you get in here and get dirty? Go on! You can do it! Clubs! I don't know what tactics are, but oh, we're gonna kill a slime here. There we go. <laughs> and it, I don't know where the slime was keeping that big ass treasure chest, but it was keeping it somewhere. Crikey! I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. You are useless. God damn. You could have hit something. And now we've got to go through that horrible, dingy cave. Just our luck. Oh, stop complaining. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. I'm glad my character's already being used. What is up here, though? Ah, uh, it's the thing she read. Okay. Ah, but... There's a box. I found a fucking pot lid. Uh, equipment. There we go. Now I got a makeshift shield. Awesome. Ah, uh, uh, come, come on. Oh, there is a jump button. But you still can't jump over anything. Jesus. Yeah, woof, woof, woof. I'm making my way up town, doggy. And in we go. Oh, there's loading times. There's more slimes, but look how pretty that is, especially the water. I 
I don't know, Dragon Quest games are, from what I've noticed, were always gorgeous. Then again, most Dragon, uh, most uh, Square Enix games are. Yeah, yeah, woof woof, but I want to see what's up here first. Ah, oh, look at that. Got some medical herbs. So, Fancy a chat, do you? Not really. I just wanted the medical herbs because I know I'm going to need them. More monsters, but I don't think they've spotted you yet. You should sneak up and try to surprise them. Get close enough to a monster and a small orange arrow will appear just above. Press X and you'll give them a weighty wallop with your weapon. There we go. It wasn't exactly weighty, it was only one HP, but hey, you know. Uh God damn. There we go, Bubby. Don't give up! Thanks for healing me. Get You're not him. that useless, I see. <laughs> hey. And another treasure chest. Oh, fucking slime, Jesus. So, from the first battle we had, it's pretty useless running around during the battle. Because everything goes as it's supposed to anyway. But, uh, yeah. I'm not really gonna run around. It, uh, God damn. Fuck you, slime. That's why you're dead. Yeah, puppy. Fight, and I fight, blocked and you with my pot. Tough little brighters, aren't they? It's a mix of Final Fantasy and DBZ. No wonder you like this game. I've really wanted to get into the Dragon Quest games. Um, I'll put this on hold for a little bit. <clears throat> the history between, be, you know, the history of Dragon Quest was when it first came out back on the original Nintendo console, the NES, it was more or less Final Fantasy's rival. This was the first RPG, that JRPG, that came out here state-wise. Then Final Fantasy. They always went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. In, um, uh, out here and over in Japan and whatnot. But this, this game in Japan is way more popular than Final Fantasy could ever be. Now, I've played all of the numbered Final Fantasies. Uh, this, like I said, this is the second numbered Dragon Quest game that I've played. Because a lot of them I wasn't into at the time. And a lot of them didn't come out here till later on. Like on the uh, Nintendo DS or 3DS and whatnot. But, uh, when the PS2 came around, Squaresoft merged with Enix, forming Square Enix. Now, both Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy are under the same banner. And that's why the games look fucking phenomenal now. And I, I do want to get more of them, but they're scattered, they're scattered across, like, Nintendo consoles. But, uh, either way... Either way, I'm going to have fun with this one. I know I just kind of rambled there, but... It's whatever. More slimes. Goddamn, puppy. Alright! That's what I like to see. I'm so proud of you! And I went to level two. And I learned something called Frizz. I don't know what the fuck that is. I do like the music in the game, though. Die, bitch! I need your fucking experience! And I'm a little stronger, which is nice. And apparently so is my puppy. Phew. But yeah, 
it, it definitely is a mix of Final Fantasy and Dragon Ball Z. And you, you know how I am with those two franchises, baby. Bobby, you're supposed to kill it! Go on! You can do it! Get him! Fuck, but you just shut up during my fights! Writers, aren't they? Pick up a wet what the fuck is that thing? I'ma kill it! The needlers! Oh no! Single the singes it. Okay, let's check it out. Okay. Fight, fight, and fight some more. Listen, bitch. What the hell do you think I'm doing? <laughs> and maybe you should pick up a weapon and fight, fight, fight some more. We're going his way first, puppy. Ooh, pots! <laughs> Just like Zelda. We we'll fuck him up. And I can't swim. But I found another medical herb, so... That'll keep me alive a little bit longer. Let's go, puppy! Woof, woof, woof! Oh, shiny! Chunk of copper ore. I'ma shoot you with a fireball, bitch. Oh, I mean, there's been a lot of tough-ass girls in many of these games. Here you go. This bitch heals my magic. See, she just heals my magic. Tough little blighters, aren't they? I mean, she might be useless in a fight, but at least she can keep me healed up. But I do believe she becomes a party member later on and actually does fight. I hope. Because if she's with me the whole game and does nothing but that, that's Look gonna be annoying. This fog. Uh, is this normal, do you think? Maybe. And my main character Help! is a mute as always. Help me! Uh-oh. What? Cole? Small children. Ah! Ah! Oh shit! Ah! Quick! You have to help him! Uh, I'll try. <laughs> At least I got a dog. Why do you all come in too? It's not fog at all. It's more monsters. Oh, Pokemon. What do you mean, Pokemon? How's it like Pokemon, baby? Some smogs draw near. Watch out! Oh shit! You just keep me healed, woman. That oh, poor puppy. Ghastly, <laughs> a child alone in the woods. I mean, I I see your point. Maybe you could heal my magic next. Uh, that would be awesome. Here you go. Thank you. Yes! There we go. We killed Gasly. <laughs> I guess he didn't have a fucking Pokemon to go into the woods. Well done. And level three. Yay. I, I will be playing this game off screen. I, I'm sorry, Gemma. But I won't be doing any um the story I parts. It'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. I will be grinding though, so yeah. That way I don't get stuck anywhere. I 
I'm sorry, Gamma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then you. those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. Zelda, Dragon Ball, Final Fantasy, Pokemon. I, I mean, it, it's... You're gonna find a lot of anime tropes in this game, along with all the art JRPG tropes, so... I mean, I guess that's a fair comparison, but the, the best comparison that could be made is Dragon Ball and uh, Final Fantasy. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed! You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant! See, the dog yes, will Gemma. You. Sorry, Gemma. Ride that bitch's back and have him run. You saved my bacon again. I knew you were tough, but crikey. You really have grown into quite the hero. I <laughs> see it, Final Fantasy. You a girl and a dog. <laughs> Not far to the top now. Well, then shut the fuck up and let Gatos go and... Oh, great. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Come on, well, let's get a move on. Just these vines to climb and you'll nearly be there. Don't go losing your grip. I get that, but I'm on a... Yeah, see? Shiny. Pink pine. What oh, the fuck am I supposed to do with that? Also, there is a crafting element to this game, from what I understand. Just like Dragon Quest VIII, you're able to craft weapons and uh, items and stuff. And armors. Yeah, man. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be going down. Any shiny things around? No. So I have no backup now. So I'm probably gonna have to fight something stupid big. Here we are at last. <sighs> it's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Well, we better say the pair and get this ceremony over with, eh? Oh, here comes what something. Was that? Oh, God. Ah, fucking useless girl. Oh shit. If I could do that the whole fucking time, then why didn't you let me? Oh. The fuck? Oh. oh, fried bird. We're alive. But how? That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Well, I am pretty damn good, right? Uh, uh, <clears throat> look! The mark on your hand! It's all glowy and shit. 
No, it's huh? not. Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer, sing it across all our drear. Blessed are we since days of yore, let it be so forevermore. Well then, that weather cleared up nicely. <gasps> wow, look! Oh, wow. It's so pretty. It just goes on and on and on. And on and Whoever on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Alrighty. <clears throat> now we go back to everything we... Well, maybe not. Jay and Gemma make their way back to the bottom of the tour. I like that. Let's get the good old granddad. Hey, puppy. Um, I probably passed who I needed to talk to, but... Uh, nope, 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 there's the pink dot. There they are. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well... There's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon, and the sunlight playing on the water, and... Oh. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. Nice. I are still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave Cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now, it's high time we were heading back. I'm Oh, I didn't know that button did that. Come on, you. Home time. Home time. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? You want to know how many items you've acquired? What monsters you've managed to make? Oh God. It's so pretty. For ascending to the top of the cobblestone tower, completing the ceremony that signifies the onset of adulthood. Okay. This is always good to see. Notice the parents. The tower isn't safe for children. Please make sure they know not to play there. So <laughs> that somebody needed to tell that fucking bull cut that it wasn't safe to play up there. Oh wait, I passed somebody. Alright. 
Yeah, this guy. So the ceremony's all done. Congratulations. Now, don't tell me you've forgotten where you live and all the excitement. Just follow the paving stones. You'll find your way back. Oh, but you must be tired to be, to be forgetting that. You should head home and put your feet up. Alright. So, I'm guessing this is home? Nope. There's something on my damn roof, though. Well, not my roof, but... Can I jump that? Oh, damn it. Oh, okay. Always look around. Oh, there's one up there, too. And another pink pine. How many things are going to be on these roofs? And a fluffy feather. Oh, there's something sh- uh, oh, there was a box up there, okay. Oh, I broke the firewood. My bad. Who the hell keeps 50 gold coins on top of their roof? Glad I don't take fall damage. Medical herbs are good. So I get as many of those things as you can throw at me. But let's go follow the puppy now. Convenient how the only stone walkway in town leads straight to my door. I'm okay with this though. Oh! Here's my little soldier. Well, not so little anymore. I've heard all about your big adventure. Look at you, all grown up. I hope he wasn't too much of a bother, Gemma dear. Gemma. <laughs> of course not. Quite the opposite, in fact. You would have been proud of him. We got attacked by a monster at the top of the tour, and I ended up hanging onto the edge of the cliff by my fingertips. I thought I was done for. But you'll never guess what happened next. That mark on his hand suddenly lit up, and a bolt of lightning hit the monster. What did you say? Oh, no. That funny little mark? Lightning flying about the place? Goodness me. Here I was, hoping he'd turn out nice and ordinary, but it seems his grandfather was right all along. Well, I've been putting this off for long enough now. You and me need to have a little talk. Oh, we're about to find out what that mark is. Here. This belongs to you. Oh, that's pretty. Your grandfather asked me to give you it once you'd come of age and climbed the tour. The truth is, there's something I've been keeping a secret all these years. Something I've never told another soul in the village. It's... how can I put this now? Um... well... he said you're... I like how she's openly saying it in front of Gemma after she just admitted she's never said anything to any other villager. You're the reincarnation of the Luminary. Oh, what is a Luminary? What? I've only ever played him in Smash, damn it. I don't know what he is. Oh, don't ask me what the old fool meant, dear. I haven't got the foggiest. All I know is that your grandfather said you had a special destiny and that there was something you had to do. He said that when you came of age, you were to head north to the capital 
up there in Heliodor and show that necklace thingy to the king. He seemed to think that if you did that, all would become clear. Clear as mud, I shouldn't wonder. Anyway, the long and short of it is that if you want to find out what this is all about, you'll have to leave Cobblestone and head over to Heliodor. Well then. Crikey. <laughs> well, I can't stop you leaving, I'm sure, but you won't be marching on an empty stomach. Come on, dinner. I never said I was going anywhere, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The reincarnation of the luminary. Jay tries his hardest to sleep, but he's too confused by everything he's learned and excited about his upcoming trip. Eventually... Hmm. You know, let me check around the rest of the house before I do anything. Okay, he is doing it. Oh, pots. Need all the money I could get, damn it. Uh, okay. Well, well, back down, I see. Why can't you just slide down like any other game character? Hey, big mama. I'm gonna have to leave. Having trouble sleeping, are we? Well, it's no surprise after all the excitement today and your big news. <clears throat> Whenever I have trouble nodding off, I like to go for a little walk. The night air always does me a power of good. Oh, shit's about to go down. Something's about to happen. Can I break that big ass pot? No, I cannot. Alright, well. Wait, wait, where do I want to walk to? I just follow the stones, I guess. Hey! 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 Stop drinking and go to bed! What about this one? Am I allowed to leave yet? Now for a little evening stroll, are we? Well, make sure you don't stray outside the village. There be monsters. Oh no, shit, I'm playing an RPG. Oh, maybe I should go to that pink dot. Big dot. Oh no. Gemma, oh, why can't you sleep? Oh, can't sleep either, eh? You remember this tree, don't you? I got my scarf stuck in it all those years ago. There I was, crying like mad, and there you were, running round trying to help me get it down. <laughs> Some things never change, eh? A little bit. You know, I always imagined we'd spend our whole lives right here in Cobblestone. That's why I was so surprised by what your mum said today. All that stuff about you being the luminary, that reincarnation thing. I remember the story my granddad told me. Once upon a time, long, long ago, the world was terrorized by a horrible monster. But then, the luminary appeared and saved the day. When it was all over, the luminary turned into a star. And he's been watching over us from up in the heavens ever since. Nope, he's standing right next to That's you. That's his star, right there. <sighs> How can you be the Luminary too? I... I just don't get it. I know. That's what you're going to Heliodor to find out. I understand. Really, I do. Listen, we should both be getting back. Everyone will be wondering where we've got to.
goodbye, old friend. I ain't gonna buy forever. Aw, oh, she's crying. <laughs> I mean, I don't like the fact that she's sad, but I think it's kind of cute that she's sad that he's leaving. Exhausted after his long day, Jay finally falls into a restless slumber. Then morning comes. <laughs> oh, we got our gear. There we go. Well, just look at you. You don't scrub up too bad, you know. Only wish your grandfather were here to see you. <coughs> you won't forget him, will you? He was a fine, upstanding man, the pride of the village. You could do worse than try to be like him. Well, however you turn out, I'm sure you'll find a way to overcome whatever lies ahead. A mother knows these things. Yes. Oh, by the way, I've popped a little money I'd saved for a rainy day in your pack. Don't spend it all at once. Was it the money that you kept on our roof, was it? Why don't you visit the village shop before you head off to Heliodor? You'll need some supplies for your big adventure. But don't take too long. The whole village is turning out to wave you off. Well then. I'm glad you told everybody, finally. <laughs> Jeez. Ugh, what do you want? I heard all about it from her mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make, and you, and you just a youngster. Well, before you head off, make sure you visit the shop. You know where it is, of course. Down the slope and across the river. Well, once you've stocked up, head up to the village entrance to the north. We'll be waiting to see you off. What's up, Buzzbox FM? We are playing Dragon Game Dragon Quest Eleven. Um. Something something definitive version S. <laughs> uh, okay. Now we're going shopping. So how you doing, homie? Gonna buy do new sword, please. Something really sharp. So you're leaving good old cobblestone, are you? Well, make sure you've got all of the essentials before you set off. Welcome, valued customer. How can I serve you? What would you like? A sturdy stick fashioned from a branch. Got a pot with. That's worse than my thing. How much money do I have? I will be you taking these. Yes. That works. I have five of those. I would like another five. There we go. There, thank you. <laughs> I'll survive, homie. I, I hope you will. Would suck if you didn't. This game is a very pretty game. Order for collecting ten different types of an item. It it is a gorgeous game. You know, it, it's made by the people who make Final Fantasy. So yeah. Let's see, equipment. Alright. Well. Yay. Yeah, Buzz, where you been? Dale. Uh oh, uh, what? Hi. 
Jeffy, Jeffy, me. Well, what am I going to do? Oh, finish it, young Jay. You came along at just the right time. We got a favor to ask you. The other day I was playing with my lit lad, you know, messing around as you do. Anyway, he's got this fluffy feathers that he loves. And well, fool that I am, I managed to let it blow away. Lucky the wind only blew it as far as the roof of your shed. Yeah, I, I, I got it already. You can have it. You can exit. Okay, you're, you're useless. I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Oh, God. Dealing with life, homie. Well, hopefully that goes good. Oh, it looks like you've got the feather. Yes, here you go. Yeah, now, now, now stop, stop hurting your young lad's bullshit. Oh, the sun, so he should enjoy his days. So, yeah, okay, cool. Thank you. And now no purple ones mean, uh, bullshit. Oh, well, damn, dude. That's kind of cool, though. I heard all about it from your mother. She said there's an important journey you have to make, and you, just a youngster, will... Yeah, yeah I did that. I, 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 I did that. I did the thing. Okay. Uh, he said north, right? So I think I should go north. <laughs> Are you a miner? <laughs> there we go. Hi there, mama. So how's been? How's the radio been, Buzz? How do you like doing it? So this is it. My little soldier's leaving already. Well, really leaving. You might not be back for a while. Hope you've said all your goodbyes. So ready? Yeah, there is. Well, off you go then. One day you're just a little boy. The next you're getting ready to leave us. I only wish your grandfather could see what a fine young man you've become. <laughs> to think, it's been so many years already since old Chalky found you floating in... <laughs> what do you mean? Since he brought you to Cobblestone. We never thought there was anything out of the ordinary about you. And now suddenly there's all this talk of luminaries of all things. And my mother likes to spread rumors. You know who the luminary was, of course. The legendary hero who saved the world from a terrible darkness. I'll try. And we're supposed to believe that you're him reincarnated? <laughs> I don't doubt old Chalky, of course. But it is a little hard to swallow, I must say. Love it. Oh, when you meet the King of Heliodor, put in a good word for old Cobblestone, won't you, eh? <laughs> if he finds out this is the village where the luminary was raised, there might be something in it for us, <laughs> if you catch my drift. I will try. Oh, you are terrible. Trust you to be thinking about what you can get out of it. No, I think no, he's talking about the I'm whole town you have to be The very thought. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Now, the fate that awaits you may well be one beyond anything we simple country folk can imagine. But you must allow us to offer what little assistance we can. Take this map of Erdria with you. May it prove useful in finding your way. Well, thank you. That 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 will be useful. Oh, I got a horsey. Uh, uh, hip, hip. Oh. And may this magnificent steed, the pride of Cobblestone, lighten your burden and speed you on your way. That's awesome. Trunks You'll got a horse. Heliodor easily enough. 
Just head north out of the village and follow your nose. You travel safely now. Oh, you're such a good boy, such a good boy. Aww. You make us proud out there, won't you? And come back safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye. Wait. Here, take this with you. I, I made it for you. Yay. Mm, Gemma. I will keep you safe. I heard there are lots of monsters where you're going. Be sure to keep it close, won't you? Uh, I will try. I don't know what's in store for you out there, but wherever you go and whoever you meet, don't don't forget us, will you? Take care, and remember, we'll be waiting for you. Aww. It's so sweet that they're all like sad but happy at the same time. Sparkly spots, yeah, yeah, yeah. Horses are an incredibly convenient way to cover large amounts of ground in very little time. But you'll sometimes have to enter areas that can only be explored on foot. Don't despair though, a ring on one of the many summoning bells dotted around it. Erdrea will soon bring her faithful friend galloping back to your side. Cool. Oh wow. There's slimes everywhere. Do I get to run them over? I do! Not entirely sure where I'm going though, so yeah. The new MC update was for. I have no clue. Buzz, look at those birds from the game! I probably should be grinding a little bit before I get to this castle, but. Let's get to the castle. <laughs> Plus, I like doing that. It's over here. Hold on a sec. Oh, what are we here? I know a budding adventurer when I see one. It can be risky heading into the great outdoors if you aren't familiar with the basics of survival, you know. Well, fear not, because that's where I come in. See the remains of that fire over there? Well, when you spy one of those, it means you can set up camp and rest your weary bones. Ah, uh, it shouldn't. To settle down for the night, just go up to the fire and examine it. You'll soon be enjoying a well-earned break. What's I doubt the mo uh, you your model get fucked up. You being attacked by monsters while you sleep? Oh, ye of little faith. That statue over there is chock full of holy powers that'll keep the beasties. And that's not all. You can pray to it to be cured of poison and all kinds of other things. Think of it as a mini church. Nice. Anyway, enough of my yammering. Why don't you take a closer look at all this camping kit for yourself? You'll need to get used to what campsites look like and how to find them. After all, you'll be relying on them whenever you're out in the wilderness. I didn't even know there was a weapon expansion mod. It's like my old dad always said. Keen campers can continue on where others can't. Be prepared. Well, that's all from me. If you have any camping-related queries, feel free to ask. I'm here all the time. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Okay, then. I actually do want to check that out. Strange voice echoes from afar. 
play in 2D mode? No. We will save, though. Yes. Overwrite my log, please. Yes. I want to check out 2D mode. Just, at least just once. What? Oh, we'll do like a battle or two in it. I, I just want to check it out for like nostalgia's sake. Your gold coins, experience points, and non-story related items will be carried over. No. I'd have to start over, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, no, don't want to start over. Let's check out the camping stuff. And who is that guy? Welcome to my roving emporium. How can I serve you? Really? I have a shop that follows me? Oh my god. What's the user away to the last place they prayed or to the last important location they visited? Oh! I'll take one of those at least. Don't need any of that. Okay. Can't do anything there. Press in order to restore HP. Okay. Cool. So the camp has a shop. Which is very convenient. I want to go find a bunny corn. Ah, bunny corn! And apparently two slimes. We'll take out the slimes first. And then the bunny corn. Fuck you, buddy corn! Hey, uh, that's not nice! Oh, bunny corns are strong. Aww, I killed it. It's dead now. Alright. I'm gonna go back on the horse that's not here. Well then. I fucked up. Anyway, where the hell do I gotta go? That away. I go that way. Let's go. Oh, those are the hammer guys. I wanna fight one of them. Yes! The hammer hood! That's awesome! Ah, now fuck his ass up with some fears! Or frizz, I should say. <clears throat> and I leveled up! That's fucking awesome! Let's find another one. Let's see how many attacks they- Oh, God! Ow. Took two big attacks. That's- That's something. That's cool, though. 
I lost my damn horse. I'm sorry, horsey. I, I, I shut him down. Oh, the hell I was looking for, but... Look at all these fucking monsters. The fuck is this thing? A platy punk! Ah! Throw a little bit of freeze at you. Oh god. There we go. Fuck off, Flatty Punk. Oh, it is the real field that they use on. And the thing sparkles. Nice. And I, just, I got another Chimera. That's what's up. I like how my guy just does not run out of stamina. It's a fucking cross country runner. Jesus. Oh god. Here we go. In a battle, you'll see a white circle on the ground. Leaving it will see your party try to flee. Oh. Okay. That's really pretty. your door. Where's the pink people? There he is. I haven't seen you around here before. Hmm. You're here to see the king, you say. Well, you won't find him around here. You'd better head to the castle. Go straight up this road, climb the steps, keep going, and Bob's your uncle. Just remember that they shut the gates as soon as the sun goes down. The king needs his sleep, you know. You're best off heading there bright and early if you want an audience. Ah, uh, thank you, sir. There's somebody over here that wants a quest. Amelia's stuck on the roof. She won't come down. Wow. Someone help me. Amelia's stuck on the roof. You have to help. Go on to your perilous rooftop spot. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You're so nice. Please get Amelia down. She's scared of heights, you know. Okay, where the fuck is Amelia then? Who is Amelia? How the fuck do I get to the roofs? Ah, oh, it wouldn't let me jump. Okay. I mean, it might be breaking a pot, but... Really? I thought I could use that to get up top. I guess not. Okay, I'm on a roof. Now I'm not. How do I get up to the roofs? That must be Amelia. Oh, God damn it. I 
I gotta find a way to get up. Me? No? Come on, there has to be a way. There has to be some way. Just where I was. God, it won't let me jump like that. No, stupid. Why am I stuck? Why am I stuck? Get Amelia. <laughs> it won't let me leap like that, Jesus. Kitty, I'm trying to help. I got maybe if I go into some of these buildings, if I'm allowed to. Alright, this is a church. save and I'm trying to get the damn cat but oh no learn how much experience each party member needs to reach the next level 67 experience points to reach oh, okay cool <sighs> all right but yeah I can't do nothing in here I thought maybe I'd be able to. Okay. There's that. Can I go in here? Is there a ladder? No. But there's a way. There's a la. Okay. Yay! There's also a chest up there. Cool. If I would have fell to the bottom, I think I would have cried. Oh, I found a mini metal. Now what the fuck is this thing? Okay, I can't do nothing with that. Cat's paws seem to be stuck in a hole in the roof. There we go. Okay, go tell her. Hey, yo, your cat's down. No, fuck off. Why do you look like a tiny Android 18? You, you did it. You got Amelia off the roof. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here, take this. Bag of kitty litter. Okay, well, you know, that's cool, because I have a fucking cat, right? If we got up on the roof, you can get into others. Can you probably even climb down chimneys? Because face lights up. Yeah. Fucking kitty litter. 
Sweet. Now there's another mission over here. There we go. Uh, what do you need? Came all the way to Holyador with just one goal in mind to catch a glimpse of the two of the greatest heroes in all of history Sir Jasper and Sir Hendrik. The only problem is that they won't let me into the castle. Can you believe it? Well, if I'm not going to get to meet them in person, I suppose I'll have to bide my time by reading up on them instead. You know, if you wanted to earn my eternal gratitude, you could help me find a book about the exploits of those two fabulous knights. If you next undertake a quest, will you wait see to the quest? Yeah, I guess. Whoever wants you to search for a certain book about two local heroes, Hendrik the General and Jasper the Technician. Okay, thank you so much. I know there's a book about my two favorite knights just sitting on a bookshelf somewhere. I've taken a look around the west of the city, so maybe you should head east if you see any bookshelves with red books in them. Take a closer look. Apparently, they're the ones worth reading. If you do manage to find a book about Jasper and Hendrik, make sure to come back and tell me all about it, won't you? Good luck. Okay, at least he narrowed it down. I go east. Downtown. I didn't see any books in here, so... Over here. Huh. What is this? Welcome to the Rainbows and Bank. You can trust us to keep your hard earned money safe. Oh, that's right. Want to become famous? No, go away. Thank you, Buzzbox. I don't need to withdraw. I put anything in anywhere. And Buzzbox banned his ass too. Fuck that guy. Well, that would be going west, right? C come on, come on. Okay, you can't go into every damn door. Maybe it's only the red ones that you could fuck around with? I think so. Ah! Ah! I found a book! The book's called The Soldier and the Strategist, The Tale of Two Heroes. Jay takes it from the shelf. No matter how ferocious the son of uh, Halidor, the great kingdom shall not fall with the two heroic figures. There's Sir Hendrik, warrior, countless times, Sir uh, blah 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 blah. Alright. Sir Jasper. Okay. You found a book about the two heroes. You should go tell the tourists. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Also, thank you again, Buzz, for taking care of that bot. Come here, guy. Where are you at? There he is. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I found your book. We don't need to read what the fuck you're talking about. You're not one of the main people I need to deal with. Thank you. I do want to check this weapon shop out, even though I hardly have anything. God, you're buff. No one sells sharper swords than me, mate. You can look, but you'd probably best not touch. Definitely can't afford any of that. 
Thank you. What do you have that I can't buy? Definitely can't get the leather shield or leather armor. I bet I could go outside of the city and fucking grind all that, though. But before we do that, let's go ahead and talk to the king here. Unless there's more purple people. Ah. Nope, can't go there. I think I can go here, though. Hey. You have a quest? Pissy, pissy, pissy. Hey. Yeah, uh, let's go up and talk to the king. Before I waste my time and I have to wait a whole night. Let me in! Halt! Not so fast. I wasn't going fast. State your business. <laughs> Here, shake my hand, mate. That's the funniest one I've heard all week. Clear off, will ya? We haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. Oh, yeah. Ah. What's that? You want to show that pendant to the king, you say? Ah. Mm -hmm. Do you mind waiting here a minute? Possibly. Don't mind a lot, damn it. Huh? Ever so sorry for that little misunderstanding. Please, go right on through. His Majesty's waiting for you. Well, there we go. That's some respect. Why do I feel like this is a bad idea, though? I play too many damn RPGs. Oh, wow. Buzz, I bet we could build this in fucking Builders too. Probably not as shiny, though. Run into a castle, run into a castle, run into a castle. Gonna meet the king. Oh, here we go. Those must be the two heroes at the end there that the guy wanted to see. That will be quite close enough. Welcome to Heliodor Castle, friend. I don't like how you said friend. The Jewel of Dundrasil. You are bold indeed to have made your way here alone, Wanderer. I am Carnelian, ruler of Heliodor. How long have I waited for this day? And now, finally, we meet. Truly, it is an honor. The fact that you come here proffering the jewel and asking to speak with me personally would suggest that you know something of your true nature. A little bit. My mama told me. I take it that you also bear the mark? The others. Yes, the mark of light. Then there is no doubt, you are he. Rejoice, dear subjects. The day is upon us at last. The luminary walks among us once more. Tell me, 
Oh, Luminary, where exactly is it that you hail from? I would so very much like to pay tribute to those who took you in and raised you. Oh, he's gonna burn the fucking town down. I bet. I see. Cobblestone, you say? Jasper, you know of this place? I do, my liege. A village of provincial nobodies deep in the rocky south. Then I take it you know what to do. Do not disappoint me. Oh, he's going to destroy the town. What? Okay, first off, the king looks like he's a fucking dick. Something bad's gonna happen to me and they're gonna burn my fucking town down. I know it. I played too many fucking JRPGs and watched too many damn animes to fucking know that's not what's not gonna happen. I mean, to know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, words. Yes, my liege. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <sighs> What? A cursed luminary. I know not what your intent was in coming here alone, but whatever your wicked scheme, know that it shall not succeed. What are you fucking talking about? <gasps> I just looked at a view from the top of a mountain Hendrick, and I was told this shit. Take this cur, this harbinger of calamity, and cast him into the furthest corner of the dungeon. What the fuck? Know this. The luminary is the root of all evil and will bring naught but misery to our realm. This seems rather familiar. And why is this? The reason is simple. Just as light is intertwined with darkness, so too is the luminary intertwined with the dread lord of shadows. His coming heralds the resurrection of the Dark One. Did you really think you could fool one as wise as his majesty? It was your great misfortune to confront one who knows your true nature. I'm just a boy. Man, seize this wretch. I killed a couple of slimes. This is fucked up. Dick. That's the, I knew something bad was gonna fucking happen. I've seen this shit happen in too many different fucking forms of entertainment. to hail from cobblestone well before the sun has set three times we shall know the truth couldn't you just say fucking three days from now we'll know the truth by then jasper will have returned from his investigation he is setting fire to that fucking town it's not no investigation he's being a complete cock if i were you dark spawn what? i would not expect to live beyond that day it's fucked up Hmm. Well then. That's not cool. Trophy. Awarded for fulfilling your duty and traveling to horror to ah, <laughs> well. Only to be damned by the dark spawn and thrown into the dungeon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck your pots, king! He yelled at me. At least I got a fucking toilet. Jeez, keep it down, will you? There goes the neighborhood. What the fuck are you? Will you keep it down in there? 
Most folks they throw in here have the decency to wait a while before going stir-crazy. What are you in for, anyhow? You don't get free bed and board down here without having done something pretty bad. Wait, did you say the luminary? You're serious? A little bit. <sighs> You're telling me the luminary has just shown up in the cell next to mine. This is crazy. One plate of delicious gruel for the gentleman in the dungeon suite. Come and get it. That's not good. <laughs> um, you, you mind unlocking mine, please? That'd be wonderful. Thank you. Please don't stab me. The luminary. You're serious? Uh, yes. <laughs> they wouldn't have thrown me in here if I wasn't. So it's all happening just like the seer said it would. Seer? You mean the guy from Apex? We'd better get out of here. Alright. Jesus. They had seer in every fucking thing. Bet he's OP in this too. I ain't got a sword. Not shit. Wait here. Will do. <coughs> you bring back the sword, please. <coughs> Thank you. Hey, you Don't worry, I didn't kill him. But he won't be waking up anytime soon. Things will get pretty hairy up ahead. You'd better take this. <laughs> I'm glad it looks just like the one I've been carrying. <coughs> Oh, and I found this in a corner over there. I guess it's your stuff, right? Most likely. Me? I got this little beauty back, so now I'm pretty much unstoppable. <laughs> well then. We'd better get out of here before any more. Uh oh, whoop, my bad. I keep playing with the analog six and the left one controls the fucking t uh, text. I'm sorry. Where are we going, buddy? Okay. I spend ages digging this hole, and you just happen to show up the day I finish it? Heck of a coincidence. Guess I really was meant to help you out, just like the seer said. Ah, uh, I, I, anyway, I tend to listen to seer too. To talk about all that later. Especially when he fucks me go. over in Apex. <laughs> nice. Okay then. Well, damn. <laughs> Can we get back to my town? Before they set it on the fire? sewers, huh? Well, there must be a way out somewhere. Lead the way. I got your back. Thank God somebody does. Probably should heal myself. There we go. I will collect all the shinies, please. Lock tight. But the box! I want the box. Maybe I get a key later on? Most likely, right? <laughs> More doors locked tight. Locked tight. Ah, I'm figuring everything's gonna be locked tight. Why didn't you keep the keys, dude? 
Uh oh. There they are. You lot, over here. Huh? Oh Damn shit. It. We better make ourselves scarce. You think? We got weapons. Fucking kill there. Oh god. Oh lordy. Come on, this way. You don't say. Follow my lead. Uh, all right, smells the torch out. My lead. Ah, okay. I don't know how that one didn't see me, but all right. Follow my lead. Light the torch again and go and check out now. <laughs> oh, they're a little cut. These guys don't give up, do they? Um, that's not good. Seriously? Um, why? Why? Well, whatever works, I guess, but Jesus. How did y'all survive and they didn't? You okay? Looks like we shook the guards at least. I will be saving at that damn statue though. Mm hmm. All day. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Hopefully. Oh, we're at question marks. Uh, yeah, confession, please. Let's do this. Thank you. Yes, uh, go ahead and override that. Glad I saved the cat before I fucking got thrown in jail, right? Oh, okay, look, look, we're done. Okay, come on, let's go. Um, Welp. <clears throat> First boss, I guess. Why does it have to be a big ass dragon? Wait, there's something there. Oh, I know. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm fucked. Oh, God. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. You got think? We'll come and fight him later. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, we need to move. Let's get out of here. Fucking try it. Uh -oh. There we go. Well. Well, here goes nothing. Break your ankles, your knees, and all that. I think we gave it the slip. I don't think we did. <laughs> he learned. <sighs> Spoke too soon. Come. 
Come on, quickly! Don't the fucking tell me, buddy. Oh, fuck you, spine. The spine's, oh god. I like how they're fucking running, too. Fucking hell. Oh, metal slide. Ah, uh, like the torches, the lanterns, they were fucking monsters, too. Maybe it is a little like Pokemon. I know you bitches are in there. I smells you. Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. A little bit. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. I don't know why that's a castle, but I mean, uh oh, guard dog to guard dog. Um. Run! You don't say. I, I should have never left the village, honestly. We made it. Just. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? huh. There he is! The dark spawn! I'm fucking from a farmer's <laughs> village! Leave me alone! Ah, me and my big mouth. Move! <laughs> I'm still running from all the <sighs> Looks like our luck finally ran out. Oh, God. Oh, there's water. We could jump. There they are. We've got them now. <gasps> I don't like the no way, way back, he huh? said that. If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold! Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the luminary. I don't have much choice. Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now. Oh, I'm all about the stupid. Oh. The name's Eric, by the way. <laughs> well then. I said I was all about the stupid. Square Enix presents everything that I've been talking about. I guess I gotta sit through this one. So far, I'm liking the game. I kind of had a feeling that I was going to get fucked over once I reached the castle and spoke to the kid. And now that they're going to the town, I kind of have a feeling that it's going to get burned to the ground unless we can get there and fucking save it somehow. We'll see how it goes. But until then, uh, opening cutscene. Oh, 
fucking squid. Ah, oh, it's so cool. Where the fucking crap I go? So Eric's going to be your best friend through this. I, I kind of feel it in my nuggets. Now is the girl in green, is she the girl from the beginning or is she somebody else? Most of those people that we've seen in that opening are going to be party members, right? Record your activities in the adventure log. Yes, yes I will. I'm not there, but yeah. Escaping with Eric. That's so much fun. Yeah. Hey, cup, lazy bones. Uh oh. Come on, up you get. Oh, someone brought me to a church. Finally, I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. Why does he sound like a New Yorker? But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Oh, fuck. Gotta stop playing with anyway. those. I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. A little bit. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. Yeah, we gotta get back to my town, homie. Word for making a daring escape with the from the dungeons of Heliodor Castle and sneaking through the sewers with Eric. Oh, thank you. I take it you are her. Ah, there you are, my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Oh, that would be us, ma'am. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. Well, that's not and good. I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> well... Oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um... We're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? A little bit. A lot of it. Kind of. And there's a quest out there for us. Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. 
I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. Well, bet. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts, but I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? You did. That's the spirit. I'll help you out, I guess. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Do you? Do you now? Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. Okay. Oh, that works. <laughs> That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. My friend, the Chaos Knight has just come Glad you're coming along. The Seer told me to stick with the Luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. Eric and Jay join forces! Woohoo! <laughs> it's just like when people join the village in uh, Builders 2. Which is a very good game, mind you. A pep power is an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members. When at least one of them is pepped up, some pep powers can only be unleashed when everyone involved is in this state. Select pep powers from the menu when it appears to see what exciting abilities you can unleash. Depending on the tactics each character has set, they'll either perform powers automatically or await your orders. Take a look at the Traveler's Tip to learn more! You don't say. Jeff. Hey, yo! Aha, uh -huh, good old pet powers. So that blue-haired chap with you is called Eric, is he? Well, he looks like he knows how to handle himself. You could have picked a worse traveling companion, that's for certain. Now tell me something. Have you heard of pet powers? They're special attacks that you could unleash with the help of your companions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The warrior wants you to defeat monster a monster with Eric using a pet power known as the real decoy. Alright. Uh, let me let me let me go fight the monster and fuck off. Hey! Like I said, you're not important. There's monsters down there. And we'll come back. Oh, I gotta fight one of these old guys. A group of enemies has appeared! healing, but my dude is pretty dead. I 
confession say? Resurrection? How? Oh. Okay. That... Where the fuck... Okay, this one. Whew, okay. This should heal me. I'm hoping. Didn't know I took it that much damage. Let me just break this nice nun's uh, pot. And try to defeat monsters with that ability. I can't just jump off the castle. thing. I mean, it's a good bit of grinding, I guess. Yeah. There we go. Can use all my items. Ha! Huh. Easy. I'm glad you think it's easy. I wanna go find a fucking tree. A sleepy tree. Oh, the tree dies first. There we go. No more healing. You bitch. All of you die. Thanks for calling in friends. Pop up. Yeah, that's Let's how I want to do it. Oh, thank God. I want it to be as old school RPG as I could get the damn thing. New spell learned. What spell? Heal. Ooh, that's nice. Don't go up the treasure chest. Medical herb. Thank you. I need that. Because I'm fucking hurt. Oh, no, I'm not. monster would be good enough to fight to get that shit to happen.
It's up with a little ghost over here. Who's up with the little ghost? Let's go. Uh, we get the fucking stuff out of the way first. There we go. Revenge. Thank you. Nice. And there it goes. The character builder is where you can use skill points to teach your party members new spells and abilities and also improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, the ones surrounding it will become available, expanding your options even further. <clears throat> Think carefully about what you unlock, when, and work your way toward the ultimate abilities. Ooh. What is this? Increase the chance of getting pepped up. Yes, please. Not enough skill points. Oh, oh cool. That's, that's awesome. Pep power piece. Slashes an enemy with a sword or a scorching sword. Great sword guard. Huh. What if I Oh. Eric. He's working with a knife right now, so. Ozu Bruiser, an attack that hits all enemies and can cause heavy damage to slimes. Or an attack power when wielding plus five. Okay. Now I have two points, right? Yeah. All right. <coughs> Let's see. That's four or five. Wow. Oh, okay. That Who was else worse wants than I thought some? it was. <laughs> Jesus. How to perform that bullshit though. I mean, basics out in the field. Battle. Get prepper to pep. A pet power is a good ability and it can. More party members, or at least one is. In most cases, participants put it out and then be built up once the power is performed. If you ever feel like power and thrill is associated with animations, feel free to press. Okay, but how. I guess you just gotta wait. Okay. I don't want to stray too far from the church. But I do want this pep fucking bullshit to happen. Stronger than the last one. Not really that much stronger, but you know what I mean. Bitch. 
Want some? <laughs> well, those motherfuckers. And we actually are getting plain clothes. Yeah, we don't need that shit. Right? What? I don't think it fucking matters because they suck. Eric is like OP. Yeah. I'm gonna go talk to that girl by the church. Maybe I should have actually read her bullshit. No doubt about it, you know, that blue haired chap pull off a real decoy with. Or whatever. Now go and find a half wish monster to try it out on. But just one word of warning. You won't be able to use it unless both of you are pepped up. And what does that mean? I hear you ask. Well, it's when you're in battle and monsters are attacking you, and suddenly you find that you're fully focused and ready for anything. Ugh. Whatever. We're gonna go ahead and get healed up. And save because we did grind a little bit. Hey, Grandma. Confession. We'll go ahead and override this one. Alright, but with that one, we're gonna call it quits on the stream, guys. I uh, will talk to y'all later. This, uh,. This game has actually been a lot of fun. And, uh, we will continue it next time I stream. But, uh, until then, yeah, I will see y'all later. So, bye bye now.